Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create this. We're going to be creating this in Premiere Pro in just a matter of seconds, so let's hop right into it. Alright, so we have our footage pulled up here from a Yeet Pop and Music video. We have this intro shot, the blank space where we're going to have the transition, and then two scenes after here. So to get started on this effect, what we're going to want to do is you guys are going to want to go over to your footage. So I have all the scenes chopped up here from the music video, and we're going to want to go to each individual one and get two frames of it. So just going on our arrow keys and then clicking and dragging this into our timeline, we're going to find the next one here. Let's go for this. And you guys are just going to do this until your area is filled up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, now once you guys have your area filled up, it'll look something just like this. So you'll have a different scene every two frames. You want to go ahead and make sure they're completely different so it doesn't look like it's repeating. All right, for the next step, we're going to go over, create a new item and create an adjustment layer. Hit OK. We're going to drag and drop that and crop that to our clips right there and then we're going to go into effects and look up lens distortion we're going to drag and drop that on there go over to effects and we're going to keyframe at the very beginning the curvature then we're going to go right to the middle here we're going to minus the curvature here to around minus 60 i think and then we're going to go to the very end here and bring it back to zero and drag it to the end so we have an effect of the curvature going in like that and then going out and you guys can play around with all these if you want here to make it unique Totally up to you guys. We're gonna go to the very beginning keyframe here, right click and ease out. Go to the very end one here and ease in. And then the middle one, we can set it to Bezier and we'll put that through. That's just gonna make it a whole lot smoother for you guys. All right guys, so now we're gonna move on to the sound design part here. I have two of these risers that I downloaded. I'll link them in the description below for free for you guys. They're very useful to have for your videos. But we're gonna drag this one in here and the second one in here. And as you can see, our effect is only this long and these risers are hella long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the very end of them. We're gonna crop them like this and line the end part up to the end and then crop those like that. Then we're gonna right click on here and apply default transitions, right click. That's pretty much just gonna be a riser for the audio. And I think we could turn them down each a little bit, like minus 10. And let's see how this sounds. <laughs> We already have a really cool transition, and the audio adds a lot there, so this is without it, and this is with it. Alright, now to add a little bit more sauce to this, guys, we're going to add on some new effects from my brand new pack, the Fast Motion Effects V2. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's make this adjustment layer 5 frames. We're going to put it in between these two clips here to use as a transition. Now we're going to go over to Effects. Now we're in Effects, we're going to open up the Fast Movement FX2, and let's put on the Shake 1 Flash 4. This is after. Now we're going to do one more for when it comes out of here to here. Let's do the Hit Insane right here, guys. This is before. This is after. And then right where the bass hits right here, we'll do one more. Let's go with the slide down for this one. And that looks pretty good there, guys. But let's add some more motion to it. We go into project and crop that adjustment layer there. Crop one for right here. So now at the very beginning here, I'm just going to have it zoom into E a lot faster. I feel like that's going to add a lot more movement and effect to the clip. Drag and drop transform on there there. Keyframe scale and position. Turn the shutter angle to 200 and turn off use composition scale. And let's zoom it in to about maybe 170. I'll we'll bring that to the end there. And I think this one's going to be really cool if we throw in transform, do the exact same thing we did before. And then we're going to start in zoomed in on this cup here. So just like that, keyframe that, and then go to the end. And that is the full effect and transition there, guys. If you guys want to go check out the Fast Movement FX V2 pack, it is linked in the description below. Currently on sale right now, so make sure you guys go grab it before the sale is over. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out one of these two tutorials. They're super informative and you guys will learn something new. Thank you guys. See you in the next one.